I'm Brad Wilson, um, stud sheep specialist uh, for Central Western Northern New South Wales in Queensland, and here with Cam Munro at Eja Labra, uh, a few k's out of out of Warren, yep. um, inspecting the um, sale rams for this year. Cam, yep. they're, they're looking quite quite well. Yeah, it, uh, they're fantastic this year, um, Brad. Like the rams have uh, uh, came down early. They come down to this western country. This is where they grow out and they walk out, and um, that's what I, you know we really promote is trying to breed the ram in their natural environment, not force feeding them. And yeah. look, the, the, the predictability is there. You can see that they're, they're peas in a pod, um, yeah. but that comes with, you know, the, the flock being so so close for so, so long. That's right. So uh, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on breeding that superior sire. With Eja Labra, we've got a big commercial base. So what we're, we're doing is breeding big, even lines of rams. So people can come here by five, 10, 25, and you know, up to 80 and 100 uh, we've had in orders and they need to be buying something of a type, not um, you know, mixed up breeding. And, and that's what you get uh, from breeding, um, from genetic depth from, from 1879 without any, any introduced bloodline. So where, where do you see the opportunities in the next, well, short term, but also long, long term in the Merino industry? Yeah, look, I think the key is the Merino U. Um, Everything pivots around the Merino U. It, it's the actual hub of our business here. Um, it, even though the Merino stud is the, is the main focus, uh, you've got our commercial places. So we run a straight commercial place breeding plenty of Merino sheep. Uh, the weather lambs are marketed uh, pretty well straight off mum. And then we're having, trying to get our lambing percentages up to have you know, big surplus ewe sales. So I, I see that as the single, you know, the biggest focus here in the in the next few years, having plenty of surplus sheep, high lambing percentages, and a lot of the meat sheep need a merino dam for their enterprises to continue as well. So that's what we're really focusing on here, and yeah. um, and you don't need to chase too many, you know, rainbows and, and things like that. It's 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 the core of the business. Yeah, yeah. like and, you know, the age of average sheep go mm. to a lot of climatic areas and things, and. Um, yep. Yeah. You know, so there, there's a lot of people chasing that um, you at present, especially if you get a little bit more rain yeah. leading into the spring. Yeah, absolutely. Like I've just been down to Hamilton in Victoria and uh, they said it's just a little bit cold at the moment, but you know, they'll be looking for merino ewes. And with the, unfortunately, the dry eye in the north and a, a lot of ewes come out of um, southern Queensland, northern New South Wales, uh, the first lot of ewes this year will be coming from, you know, central west and uh, hopefully they'll bring a, you know, a fair premium. Yep, and look, we, we see Angus on the motorbike and things, training and development's important to Eja Labra as well. Yeah, the, the most important thing is um, is to bring the youth on the journey uh, when it comes to agriculture. Uh, in the merino industry, not too many people are bringing youth along and training younger managers. Uh, at Eja Labra, we've put a lot of emphasis on, on training young jackaroos and they do a bit of a traineeship and, and have a bit of fun, it, it's important that they get out for a couple of years, get involved, uh, you know, meet new people. It's a new networking in life. And then go on and do their um, uh, tertiary education. It might be their Marcus. Uh, a lot of our boys tend to go off and do the Marcus course. Yep. And also, you know, we get the, uh, the Marcus boys doing their internal course here as well. Um, some go on to Armidale Uni. Um, and down to Wagga as well. So it, it's 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 just that it's a brilliant um, concept, the Jackaroo system. From being a Jackaroo in the area as well, it's um, I know a few of the guys that have gone on into pretty high, high profile positions as well. Yeah. Um, you know, like there's a, I think the the last overseer he's come up pretty well and got a pretty good position now. And yeah. Look, um, the ones that need to make a career of it have ended up in fantastic jobs. You know, there's you know. The likes of Jeff Lindon with AWI, um, uh, Ben Noble, who's now uh, running a place with Growth Farms. Uh, you know, Chris Bowman. Yep. He he's a class of uh, in the Riverina managed Wardry. So over the years, Eja Labra has had a huge influence on producing you know great young managers for, for properties throughout Australia, or, and even going into the rural banks and, and things like that. So. It's just if you can get your hands dirty earlier on, it's, it's, it's the way to do it. And you get an understanding for what you do, you yeah, know, with the right. yeah, hands on.